subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Microsoft Power Platform App Maker. So let's get started. Question number 1, what's the difference between a Canvas app and a model-driven app? Your answer is, to create a big app, model-driven apps use a component-based methodology. Dashboards, business processes, forms, charts, views, and entities are some of the components that make up a user interface. Canvas apps, on the other hand, start with the user experience and allow for customization through various UI features such as charts, media, drop-down lists, text input boxes, labels, and more. Question number 2, what are Power Apps, exactly? Your answer is, Power Apps is a platform as a service solution. It allows you to create mobile apps for a variety of platforms, including Windows, iOS, and Android. It is, at its heart, a collection of data platforms, connectors, services, and apps that provide a rapid application development environment for building unique apps to meet specific business needs. Question number 3, define common data services and explain why they should be used. Your answer is, the common data service allows data from several sources to be combined into a single store that can be used in Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, Power BI, and Power Apps. This makes the app development process go as smoothly as possible. Question number 4, what is a collection, and how do you make one? Your answer is, this is a unique form of data source because it is not connected to a cloud service but rather is local to the app. This is usually utilized as the device's local storage, and it can't be shared between devices for one or numerous users. They can be saved and accessed locally as well. Clear, Clear Collect, and Collect can all be used to manage collections. Question number 5, in Power Apps, how can separate user environments be created? Your answer is, the location where data, apps, and business processes are stored, managed, and shared is referred to as an environment. It can also be thought of as a container that separates apps based on their target audiences, security, needs, and roles. Creating or selecting the environment to be used, on the other hand, is mostly dependent on the company and the apps you intend to develop. Question number 6, explain how to use typical data services and why you should. Your answer is, data from several sources can be merged into a single store that can be used in Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, Power BI, and Power Apps using the common data service. This ensures that the app development process runs smoothly. The common data service allows you to securely store and manage data used by business applications. The information saved in the common data service is divided into entities. An entity is a collection of records that are used to hold data in the same way that a table is used in a database. Question number 7, how can distinct user environments be built in Power Apps? Your answer is, an environment is the location where data, software, and business processes are kept, managed, and shared. It's also a container for apps that isolates them based on their intended audiences, security requirements, and responsibilities. The environment that will be used, on the other hand, is mostly determined by the company and the apps that will be developed. Question number 8, how do you define or use a local or global variable in Power Apps? Your answer is, to change the value of a global variable, use the set function. This temporarily retains a piece of data such as the result of operational data or the number of times a button has been pressed. The update context function is then used to construct the content variable, which saves information temporarily. Context variables can only be accessible from that screen, the value can't be obtained from any other screen. Question number 9, is Flow dependent on Power Apps, or does Flow rely on Power Apps? Your answer is, it's really easy to get this messed up. Power Apps is a new version of the solution that lets you construct a mobile-friendly app that sends form data to SharePoint. Although Power Apps makes considerable use of Flow, it is not required. Flow, on the other hand, can and does use Power Apps as a front-end for its operations, but it is not required to do so. Question number 10, in Power Apps, explain the idea of security roles. Your answer is. Security roles are used in Power Platform to provide authorization levels for certain individuals or teams. Each security role's privileges and access levels must be specified. 
Security roles can be used to control access to certain apps and data in the environment, or they can be used to control access to all of the environment's resources. Security roles control a user's access to an environment's resources using a set of access levels and permissions. The combination of access levels and permissions, defined in a security role determines the limits on the user's view of apps and data, as well as the user's interactions with that data. Question number 11. What is the patch function feature in Canvas apps used for? Your answer is. The Power Apps Canvas software allows users to develop their own Power Apps. Power users can pick and select the functions they want to employ from a list of options in Power Apps. When a user needs to meet multiple requirements in a single Power App, they must first go through all of the Power Applications and then use the Power Apps Patch function. The Power Apps Patch function allows users to combine multiple Power Applications into a single Power App using an if-then expression. Question number 12. Power Apps is written in what programming language? Your answer is. Microsoft PowerFX is a low-level programming language that may be used across the Microsoft Power Platform to convey logic. It's the same language that underpins today's Microsoft Power Apps Canvas products, and it was inspired by Microsoft Excel, stated Greg Lindhorst, a Microsoft Principal Program Manager. Question number 13. In Power Apps, how do you export to Excel? Your answer is. We must utilize a flow to accomplish this because there is no direct function in Power Apps. 1. When a button is pressed in Power Apps, link it to a flow. 2. Send JSON data to the flow as a parameter. Using the create CSV and create file actions in the flow, save the JSON data to Excel in a SharePoint site. Using the React to Power App action, we can transmit the URL of our Excel file to Power App. 3. When the Excel link is received by the Power App, it saves the file at using the download feature. Question number 14. Explain the functions save data, load data, and clear data. Your answer is 1. The save data function names and saves a collection for later use. 2. The load data function restores a previously saved collection. It is not possible to load a collection from their source using this function. 3. Clear data deletes all data associated with a given name or all data associated with the program if no name is specified. Question number 15. How may error handling be done in Power Apps? Your answer is. The app will display an appropriate notice if a mistake is made while providing feedback. This will help the salesperson figure out what went wrong and what to do next. To manage failures and display the appropriate message, the Canvas app introduces the if error and is error functions. Formula level error management must be enabled in order to use these features. To enable formula level error management, please follow the procedures below. 1. To get started, launch the Canvas app and go to File. 2. Under Settings, go to Advanced Settings. 3. Enable error management at the formula level. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.